Hello, thanks for joining me again for another beer review then. Um, so yeah, today we've got another beer from Audi and this is the Hop Stepper, which is a hopped forward pale ale then, coming in at 4.5% ABV. So some snazzy looking, a little bit like um, old cassette tapes type of uh, graphic there or whatever it is. So yeah, 440ml can. Um, this beer is brewed with First Gold, Summit and Chinook hops. So First Gold, well, that's interesting. Um, more of a south coast of the UK hop varietal there. Um, allergen advice in this, it's got barley in it. This is vegan as well. Um, what we've got here, best before the, uh, June of 2021. So we're in all, I'm reviewing this in August of 2020. If you're watching this in, a, in you know, in the future. Um, so it says a hop forward parallel, so interesting. Um, so it's part of um, Audi's kind of like this hop foundry, um, whatever that is. Um, I don't know exactly what that is all about, but yeah, the founder's batch. So I've just reviewed the old um, hop till you drop. So after this, go and check that one out. There'll be a link down below for, I don't know if I've got an Audi's playlist or not. Um, whatever, let's crack it open and stop waffling. This is probably going to, yeah it did, walking home with these beers today. It's been in the free in the freezer, in the fridge about, oh, I don't know, three and a half hours. It's been a really hot day and I went sort of half six, seven o'clock when it cooled down a bit. So let's pour this out and see what we get out of this one. Nice kind of like a hissing snake on the pour. Carbonated. So it's got a finger and a half of just off white head, a tinge yellow if you like. So there we go. Quite a carbonation on that. More akin to a, like a pilsner or something. It's more of a coppery, amber type in colour. The heads dissipate really quickly. But yeah, that carbonation is like raw in there. Interesting one. So obviously it looks an un it's going to be an unfiltered beer. Clarity on it. Crystal clear. So definitely a filtered beer. What's any other information on it? I'm quite curious. It was very vague on the first beer I've done, the hop to your drop, so it uh, just goes in if you're not entirely satisfied with the product, the yada yada. Um, especially brewed for Audi stores, limited. Um, basically uh, Warwickshire, UK. And then Audi stores, Ireland. County Kildare. Very difficult to actually see the writing on, on, on that kind of uh, azure blue background. But anyway. Let's get an aroma then on this one. <sighs> Again, it's very like 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 the hop. It's called hop to your drop. It's a very kind of faint aroma of like a light citrusy lemon. Very, very like nondescript almost. Slight sweetness from the malt. Let's give it a try. Cheers. It's got a bit of citrusy bite to it, you know, a bit, and I mean a bit. After that though, it goes into a nice kind of biscuity, bready, and then bitterness to the finish. Very clean, low medium body. 
obviously no hint of ABV at 4.5. It's just, it's, you know, it's just not. It's not about that. Really carbonated though. Really carbonated. I mean, the whole the head forms when you swell the beer and it dissipates. Really, look. I mean, look at the carbonation still. I mean, it's been in there for. I don't know, a minute and a half or so, or whatever, two minutes. So yeah, the, the carbonation more akin to a lager, I'd say, something like that, or a pilsner. Interesting. It's got a bit of bitterness going on in the back end, which is quite pleasant. And then it, the, the malts are more, pardon me, more pronounced as the old carbonation coming through. That. <sighs> but yeah, it's it's a little bit kind of synthetic -y. Again, one pound forty nine for forty eight. A can for a 440ml. Um, these beers are actually in the same kind of like um, pack. You had, you had this and the, and the other review I've just literally done just now. That they're, they're mixed in. So if you see one, think oh, don't don't think oh, but they're actually mixed in together within the case. So it's a bit like um, the uh, oh. What's it called now? The Innocent Gun Beers um, from Audi. That they're all they're mixed. They've got two of Innocent Gun Beers in the same palette, just all mixed in. Um, what's it called? The Hop something. Mangoes on the Run, and um, I can't remember the other one. The brewery actually sent me some last last year before they came out in the supermarket. So, um, back to this one then. I mean, it's the hop stepper or steeper, should I say stepper? The hop steeper. I don't know. It's sweet malt, but. There's very kind of, there's very little in a way of any kind of hot presence in this. So it's made on, on a budget for sure. For £1.50, call it, for a 440ml can. I mean, if you're new to craft beer, go and try it for sure. Um, but when, once you've drunk a few other beers and stuff and you come back to, you, or you try this, it's like, hmm. Sometimes the price point does show, um, and I think it does with this. For the price, is this okay? Yeah, it's all right. Um, it's all right, but that's it. It's not. It's not good. It's not great. It's a little bit below average, but it is what it is. So I'm going to give it a quick taste and a rating, and then we'll, we'll give the old scores and on tap, and we'll clear off. It's marginally better than the um, hop to your drop for me. Marginal. They're very similar. I mean, I gave the other one a. I can't remember what I'm now giving now. A five and a half out of ten. This one's kind of between a five and a half out of ten and a six kind of kind of deal. Um, So I'm giving it a I'm still going to give it the same score, I think, um, a five and a half out of ten. But on the untapped scale, it's just a little bit higher than a three point uh sorry, a two point seven five. It'll probably be a two point eight. So um, if you know what untapped is. Um I what I'll do, I'll I'll put the uh, the links for untapped for 
Aldi, uh, Aldi's beers down below. Just gonna make sure I've got the right supermarket there. Um, over to Untap then. This is uh, almost 4,000 total check-ins, 306 in the last 30 days. Uh, so 3,467 total ratings of this beer. Then it's coming at 3.09. So it's, that is a little bit higher than than the the hop to you drop. Um, so this is averaging just over a six out of ten, which you know, it's uh, it's not bad for a one pound fifty can of beer from a supermarket. So uh, yeah. Let me know if you've had this one from the Hop Foundry, um, which is part of Audi, um, the Hop Stepper, the Hop Stepper, Hop Forward Parallel, 4.5% with the old cassette tapes and the Azure Bulu and silver writing on the back, which is very handy. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching if you got this far. Um, appreciate it very much. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.